Hey guys, my name is Ashley. Welcome back to my channel, Worth the Read. Where we talk about books that are worth your time reading. Today is a new video concept for me. I was sitting at work trying to think about new content I could bring to my page. So if you didn't know, I'm also a bartender. So I decided to merge my two, my love of making drinks and my love of reading books. And now I'm bringing you covers and cocktails. So in Covers and Cocktails, I'll be suggesting a drink cocktail that correlates or I think goes well with the adult books I'm reading. So I will only do Covers and Cocktails when I'm reading adult novels. And today's Covers and Cocktail book review that I'll be bringing to you is Ruined by D.E. Elliott. So the drink that I created for Ruined by D.E. Elliott, I like to call My Little Secret. Um, it consists of an ounce of Everclear, which is corn liquor, you guys, grain alcohol. If you are not, if you cannot handle liquor, strong, the strong stuff, I suggest you substitute that with vodka or, um, tequila or any other liquor, hard liquor that you like. But I think grain alcohol everclear goes well with this because everclear is a very strong liquor has a very strong taste but what i mix it with dulls that taste so in this drink we have here today is an ounce of everclear and then filled with moscato wine i love moscato i'm not a strong wine drinker but moscato i like this brand is alasia moscato i like that brand because it's stronger, it's extremely sweet. So again, disclaimer, if you're not a sweet wine drinker, I wouldn't suggest this. I am, I love sweet drinks. Um, it's a sweet and very carbonated Moscato. So it reminds me kind of of, of, of a sweeter Sprite kind of taste to me, but it's not very strong. You know, wine isn't strong. So I like to kick up the, the strength of my drinks. So I add an ounce of Everclear in it. And I'm going to tell you guys, you cannot taste the Everclear at all. So this is my little secret. I garnished it with an apple because it's light and crisp. And it's, great drink to, it's a great drink cocktail to have when you're sitting down at home and just want a little sip, a little stronger than a glass of wine, had a hard day, and enjoy a good book. So this is our cocktail for today, my little secret. <laughs> Today's adult novel that we'll be reviewing was sent to me by the author and the publisher of Right On Publishing, and it was sent to me a couple months ago. I should have done this review a long time ago, but like I feel everything happens when it's supposed to happen, and I finished the book, and I enjoyed the book. I love the book. It took me a long time to read because I was going, and it, the book is heavy. Let me say that. So with heavier books, they take me longer to read because I'm an emotional person and sometimes I just don't feel like being that emotional person. So it took me a little longer to get through because of the content of the book. But that being said, I absolutely love this book and that is the adult novel Ruined by D.E. Elliott. Again, this book was sent to me by the publisher for a review. I'm going to give you my unbiased opinion. I enjoyed this book. I have seen some other booktubers review this book as well. And they kind of said the same thing that I said. It's, very, it's a good read. Um, so let's get into it. Ruined by D. Elliot is a family drama. In the beginning of the book, there's an accident. And because of this accident, three different families are affected by what happened. Your first family is the man who caused the accident. He's a Caucasian male. His backstory is that he's a horrible father. He's abusive to his wife, like extremely abusive to his wife. And he has health, if he, health issues. So him not taking some medication causes him to have like a heart attack on the way to work. And he ends up running a light and crashing into 
the second family, which is a young woman and her daughter in the car. Their car ends up hitting, or it's his car, somebody's car ends up hitting a little boy walking to school, which is the third family. He is dies instantly. Now, the book, the car accident in the book is a very small part of the book. It's literally the beginning, and that's it. Um, you follow the families throughout the book and how this one event causes a ripple effect in everybody else's life, okay? The wife and the daughter, they end up in the hospital, and her husband, his name is Michael, comes to the hospital, finds out his wife is on life support, finds out his daughter is basically dying, and in that instance, he uncovers a family secret that his wife has been holding on to for a very long time, which in turn leads to another secret that his wife has been holding on to for a little, really long time. Um, every family in this book seems to have a secret, something that they're covering up, something that they're hiding, and all of the secrets kind of fall out of the family's due to this incident, the car accident. I don't need the quotations for the car, the car accident. So um, you're going through each chapter and you're learning little pieces about the family, like the gentleman who was who caused the accident. He has two sons. He's extremely racist. He beats the life out of his wife every chance he gets. Um, he's an alcoholic. He's a cheater. And his wife kind of feels trapped in her life. So instead of leaving and protecting her two sons that she has, she just goes along with it for years. And everyone kind of knows that he beats the life out of her. And one of her son gets one of her sons gets tired of it, and what he decides to do sets everything in motion. I will just say that I don't want to give you too much details, but that's what I will say. Um, the little boy who was killed instantly, his mother is a single mother trying to survive out in this world, and she has two older daughters, and she had her son and. One thing I don't like about it, she was a stereotypical black single mom, couple baby daddies, um, struggling, trying to make it out here. But she made a life for herself. She she got her own house and she was surviving and then her son dies and she's forced to look within herself to to cope with that and to figure out, you know, is her life the way it wants to be, the way she wants it to be, and, you know, how can she do better going forward as far as not, you know, seeking things from men, which always ends up, she always ends up, you know, on the short end of the stick when she's seeking things from men. Um, the third family, which is the main characters, Zendaya and Michael, our husband and wife, Couples and Zaya has had again bad history with men in the past, and her past kind of catches up to her because of this accident. She ends up on life support, and her husband is presented with the decision to let her go to use her organs to save their daughter. And her family, her mother in particular, is not having it. She cannot fathom letting her daughter die, even though it means if she doesn't let her daughter pass on, even though she's brain damaged, she's not coming back, doctors have made it perfectly clear she's gone. If she doesn't let her daughter go, her granddaughter dies as well. So his, her family is fighting him when it comes to letting it go, and he has a secret that he's holding that he doesn't think her family knows about their child. So... That's why I named the drink Little Secrets because the whole book is about people keeping information from each other. And at the end of the day, if 
you're with a loved one and you're with a family member that you marry or your mother, you should be able to communicate things to them and let them know things about you. And I think the main issue in this book is nobody spoke up for themselves or to their spouses. Um, it was all a bunch of secrets that kind of crumbled everyone. And had it not been for this accident, their lives probably would have went on, the secrets were probably would have been kept forever. And it was just been just fine. But it's funny to find that a, a horrific event happening in your life can open Pandora's box. I enjoyed this book. I like that the author kept it current. So this isn't a book that happened years ago. He's talking about songs that are on the radio. He's talking about um, events that are taking place as far as Afro-Americans and things that affect our lives. So it's very current. I'm reading this book and I'm like, I can click onto that song, listen to that song, or I can remember this event happening or you know I think I remember him talking about like when President Obama was elected I remember that night where I was what I was doing I was living in Brooklyn and it's just good it's nice to read books that are more current a lot of books that we read on book two are the past and they're not relevant hate you give was one of the books that was also relevant and it's good it was refreshing to read books that are around, that are written and reference things that are happening today. So, I give this book three and a half out of five stars. So, that's a good, that's a worth the read score for me. Um, things that I didn't like about this book, it, the pace. It was just a little drawn out. I wanted to, to move along. And I would say the book is about... 370 something pages and the last 100 pages it picked up and it was moving and I was just like all right yes 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 oh, oh that's happening this is oh, this is great but it took almost 200 pages to get there and it give because you're following three different families get small details and flashbacks from one family and then you jump to another family and you have to figure out where you are in their life and then details and flashbacks to that family and then you jump forward and you jump back and it's a lot of that. So if you have a problem with flashbacks and foreshadowing and keeping up with pace of books like that, I would not suggest this book because it does that a lot. If you like family drama where the, you'll uncover little secrets and little, you know, you're, you'll read it and you'll be like, oh, I, I, I'm, I think this is what is going to happen. I'm, I don't know. It may, it may not. If you like those kind of books, this is the book for you. I thoroughly enjoyed it. It was a good read. It's a worth the read approved. And I'm glad I finally finished it so I could get to the good part. I, like I said, the last hundred pages was extremely fast paced and everything started happening and I was just waiting for that to happen throughout the book I mean and that's kind of the reason why I didn't give it four stars but it was an excellent a good read I want to say excellent it was a good read and um I particularly wanted to read it because it's a black author because it's a black publishing company um I like to support you know we have a lot of publishing companies out there and we have authors everywhere but you really don't on booktube see the push for diversity in authors and publishing companies so i was so surprised when i got the email about being sent this book and i was just like yes i would love to read it and i enjoyed it so if you would like to read ruined by d elliot you can purchase it anywhere it's on amazon it's on they have their own website. I'll put the information below. And that's it for our cocktails and covers and cocktails. I don't know if I'm going to call it covers and cocktails or cocktails and covers. I don't know. We'll see with it while I put the video up. That is 
a wrap on our cocktails and covers, covers and cocktails book review. Um, try the drink. If you like it, let me know. Comment below. A lot of people sleep on Everclear. It is a very strong alcohol. I usually buy my Everclear in outside the state of Pennsylvania because the state of Pennsylvania has regulations where you can't have alcohol past 151 proof. Um, whereas though everywhere else it seems like Everclear is 190, 191, 190 proof. So I usually get my Everclear in Maryland when I go visit my best friend. Um, so it is very strong. 191, 190 is very strong for alcohol. So that's why you need very little. So the big bottle will last you a very long time. I'm all about saving the money, especially when it comes to alcohol. Um, comment, like, subscribe. Hit the bell for notifications. If you're a Philly, <laughs> say what's up. <laughs> I'm goofy y'all today. It's not because of that cocktail. I've only had one sip. Um, if you have read D.E. Elliott's Ruined, comment below. Let me know how you felt about it. I really enjoyed it. I like how at the end everything comes full circle and you find out more about the families. It's not just like it's over and that's it. It gives you more in the epilogue. So... That's it. Thanks, guys. Peace out from Earth 3.